the last couple of weeks I've been doing okay um, got gold most days but only a tiny bit um, sort of been averaging one or two grams a day the odd day four or five grams so yeah pretty happy uh, but only small stuff mostly sub grammars um, the odd one just over a gram sort of thing anyway I decided to do a bigger walk today so I've come quite a distance back and I'm just in a nice little creek down here anyway working my way up and a bit of a crevice in the bedrock there next thing there's a signal um, just in here is where the signal came out of nice little pocket down there and here see it there flick that little fella out nice little beauty look at that oh yeah it's a lovely piece and it's got a bit of weight to it it's actually um i've got a feeling that might go about you know four or five grams have to be it's quite weighty funny shaped one eh? very happy with that good stuff it's quite funny it's shaped a bit like a tooth after it's been pulled out and sure enough just under five grams <laughs> well that was pretty funny i was just detecting down the slope here and next thing i could hear a bit of grunting going on somewhere i looked down in the gully down here next thing i could see three or four pigs but i thought i oh, didn't take much notice of it i thought they'd probably see me come in and buzz off anyway next thing i know they're coming up the slope towards me so i thought oh well. i put the detector down got the phone out of my bag turns out there was probably at least 15 they were sort of going around all sides of me some were coming this side some were going that side yeah actually the closest ones were at less than 10 meters away from me so uh oh that's marvelous great having little interludes like that quite a pretty little spot here i think what originally happened probably 130 years ago or whatever i'm guessing at the date the old timers came along this would have been just a big gully running through found gold dug it all out and then probably maybe 40 or 50 years ago guys came along with bulldozers and diggers and stuff and took the whole valley out all the old muller keeps everything uh, processed it all and probably got a lot more gold out of it and then at some stage they've dammed it up down that way blocked it blocked the gully and um, she's filled up with water and created this lovely little lake and now here I am looking for any dregs they left behind and I've got a little well I got a signal there right at the base of that tree I got two little bits just sort of under there and then another little piece there somewhere and the signal main signals sort of straight under that root there in there somewhere all right I'll just show you um, those other three little bits they're only very small there you go so that's them there and let's just hope there's a bigger piece yet to come it just seems to be right in there so if I go over the top of that Roots can often give a signal, a false false impression there's actually a target in there, especially bigger roots. They've got moisture in them. They give a bit of a noise. Uh, but this one was sort of a bit louder, and I went around all the other trees and no signals around them. Okay, it's, it's very, very awkward because it seems to be roots going everywhere. Of course the gold has been in the ground a lot longer than the trees have so it's not unusual to get nuggets under or around trees but it certainly doesn't make it easy okay so in here let's see if i can see it there look 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 right there oh yeah it's a nice one <laughs> look at that ah oh, yes lovely Oh boy, I'm wrapped, it's gold. <laughs> That's the biggest one for the last couple of days. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, very good. <laughs> I thought it was going to be bigger, but still should be two or three grams, I think. Very good. All right, let's see if there's any more there. Well, ended up a really good day. A total of 19 pieces. 
that hole with all the tree roots in it, well, that ended up having another three pieces in it after I got that nice piece there. So I got that piece and then one of those and then another piece as well, plus those few other little bits. So ended up a total of a seven or eight pieces out of that one hole. I don't know, we'll see what that comes up as. Hopefully it's over two. Oh yeah, lovely. 3.16. Yep, marvellous. Very good. All right, what is this other one? Let's see how that comes. Oh yeah, nice. Real nice. All right, let's chuck them all on. Ha ha ha, nearly half an ounce. <laughs> very good, very happy with that. Well, I've got a nice sounding signal here. Just sort of in a bit of a dip, sort of at the head of a gully, I suppose. And um, haven't had anything else this morning, first signal for the day, but it's still early. So it's sounding promising. I'm pretty confident that it'll be gold. Haven't struck any junk or anything yet. Lovely morning. It's all sort of overcast. Looks like a fantastic day. Really calm, beautiful. Anyway, have a listen to this. Pretty much sort of around that area just here. All right, let's get digging. Just in here somewhere. Probably not far down now, because I think that's looking a bit clay. I got only two bits yesterday, uh, just before dark actually. So they had to hurry out, but um, that wasn't just here, it was well over that way further. Only seemed to be the two bits there. One of them is a nice one though, just a nice three and a half grammar. And then I got another little piece, which is about a 0.7 or something like that. Um, but that was good, just over four grams. Happy with that. I mean, if I could do the same today, I'd be pretty wrapped. Let's see, let's see it here. All right. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is, not as big as I thought. <laughs> I was expecting something a bit bigger. That's it. <laughs> Look at that. I thought it was going to be bigger. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Should never be disappointed with gold. It's still a chunky little piece. Yeah, it's surprising, isn't it? Just found another target. So you would assume it's going to be gold, because it's only about oh, 10 metres from the last piece. So it's promising. <laughs> Just in a little bit of a sort of a hole here. Yeah, so anyway, grab a pick and give her a bit of a dig. You can see how difficult it is to find a signal in all this long grass, especially a faint one. Some areas it's just not possible at all. Okay. That's in that, apparently. Ah, there we go. Look, just right there. You can see that little bit there. Not, not very big. <laughs> I always think it's going to be bigger. That's it, right there. A little flattish piece. Is it there? And that's it, just there. <laughs> it's all gold, so there we go. Really could have missed that one. <laughs> See if there's any more. Well, I'm pretty happy with the day. Ended up getting seven pieces in total. Got uh, these five all in that same spot this morning. And then nothing else, and then it was several hours later, they've got this tiny little fella at the end here, and then this nice chunk here. You know, the only reason I didn't film that, because I, I pretty much knew it was going to be gold, it was actually quite deep, but uh, it was getting on, it was after well after four o'clock, and ended up taking me an hour and a half to get back to my vehicle. So I didn't want to get back after dark, if I could help it. So um, anyway, it's, I'm pretty happy with that, it's all good. Anyway, they'll all be 
pretty small. We'll just see if that is there. It's over a gram. I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe that'll go close to two grams by the sounds of it. Oh, 2.8. Marvellous. Well, I was hoping this bigger chunk here would be about three grams. And I feel pretty confident about that now. Because it's actually pretty heavy. It's quite weighty. It's really water-worn. Very smooth. All right. Let's get that focus good. Let's see what that weighs. Oh, well. Haha. <laughs> Over five. Marvellous. Oh, I thought it felt pretty heavy. Oh, that really made my day. Oh man, I can't believe it. 10.4. That's fantastic. That's better than I thought. <laughs> really happy with that. Well, I just had a loud signal in the long grass here. And I knew it wasn't gold. It was right on the surface. But anyway, I fished it out. And thought I'd just show you what it is. It's actually a cowbell. One of these fellas here. I found a few of them in my time. Um, but this is the first one I've actually got that's still got the loop on the top here. Uh, mostly they're rusted off and you just find that part. I don't know what that's made of, but that doesn't seem to rust that side of it. But the, the loop certainly does. It's quite fascinating. I, I presume it's a cowbell. Um, they've always lost the dangler inside for some reason. That's probably rusted out. But um, yeah. Um, I suppose they might use them on a donkey or even, I suppose, a horse. But, uh, and then right beside it was a chain here. And it's even got the little padlock there. <laughs> Cute little padlock. Yeah, so anyway, but that's, that's quite nice. Hmm. All right. Very good. Sort of wonder what the story is behind that, eh? Who had that how many years ago? Shame they don't have a date on them. That would make it interesting. But, hmm. All right, carry on. That little guy. Teeny weeny little fella. See this thing. Focus is not so good again, but there you go. Oh, well, put him down on a tree or somewhere, a rock. Got a funny signal over here, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I just had to walk back down the hill here to get the phone. So I left my bag in a bit of shade. It's a bit warmer today, probably about 31 degrees, I think. Um, not even a cloud in the sky, from what I can tell. So, uh, lovely day, but it's good to find a bit of shade when you can. Anyway, we'll take a little walk, see if I can find this spot. And... Um, before I show you that, I'll uh, just show you what I've got so far today. It's only little stuff, but it's very impressive because it's the 15 inch nugget finder coil and it just shows you what a big coil can find. Not only does it go nice and deep, but it'll also pick up little tiny stuff. You can see they're all little pieces, there's a whole lot of them. And um, yeah, that's all, all with that big coil. So, it's pretty impressive, really. Okay, so, here's my target. Now, it's right at the base of a termite nest. <laughs> so, I've had to hack the side of it out there, which they're not too happy about. But never mind, you can see them all fussing around there. But, uh, anyway. So, I've taken a bit of a chunk out of it there. Have a look at this. Hmm, sounds quite nice. I bought a pair of fairly expensive noise cancelling headphones with the idea that they may improve my chances of hearing faint signals. But to be honest, I actually prefer the original cheaper ones. However, while I'm using them, oh, yeah. you may find some signals a bit hard to hear at times because I haven't got an external speaker. Ah, there. I can see it. That's it there. Hard to see. It's sort of so dusty and thing. But that's it. Nice. Always hoping it's going to be bigger, but it's good. It's my biggest piece for the day, anyway. Weird sort of sound, I don't know. Quite weird. But there you go. Yep. 
lovely it's over a gram anyway okay so pretty happy with that 18 pieces in total there you go point one <laughs> Not a few of these are going to be around that mark, I'd say. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, getting bigger. <laughs> Half a gram. And the last one, 1.65. That's good. All right, let's chuck them on. Nice. I was actually secretly hoping that there'd be five grams in total. And it's looking promising. Beautiful. Look at that total. 6.36 yep very happy with that shows you how those little tiny pieces they all add up marvelous last year i came down the same creek but this particular stretch here was actually full of water and the rest of it was dry and i thought oh, i'm not going to be able to get down that for a while and a couple of months went by and it still had water in it so i was surprised actually now i just happened to drop in from the ridge top there come down and it's all totally dry this time so I thought, oh, well, it could be worth a look, even though people had been up the other end of the stream and probably lower down, no, no doubt. However, I just come down this part. It's only like 20 metres beyond where I've been before, the part that was underwater before. Anyway, now I've already dug the hole and I'm down to the clay. Now when you hit the clay, it means... Usually it's a good sign that there could be gold stuck in the clay because usually the trash is sitting up above in the gravel or sand. So anyway, I'll switch the detector on and let you have a listen to this. So I'm, fingers crossed, I'm a little bit confident this time <laughs> because lately all I've been getting is just small stuff really, nothing of any size, so I haven't really been filming much at all. But fingers crossed this time. This is the height here. When I first heard it, wasn't much of a signal, don't know that. But anyway, now, you can certainly hear it now, can't we? <laughs> see that? See that sticky clay? I don't know if you can tell. Okay. That's, that's sort of wet, wet clay sort of thing, see that? Hard to tell in this light. <laughs> There's some clumpy sort of clay, which is a good sign in this particular instance, because the fact that it's still in that is marvellous. <laughs> still in there. <laughs> oh, it's marvellous, isn't it? Still far away to be honest with you hopefully I'm going to see some yellow that's what we're hoping oh my goodness <laughs> look look at that look at that look just here look at that that's yellow <laughs> you beauty oh look how clean it looks it looks magnificent <laughs> it's a nice little stonker <laughs> Wow, what a beauty. I'll try and get a close-up for you. All right. Uh, look at that. That's the best one I've got for ages. I don't know what that is, but that's got to be, that's, that's over 10 grams. Looks sort of cleanish because it's had water sitting in the creek for so long, and the clay is still damp. I don't know if there's even any quartz or anything else in it. It just looks like a bit of clay and dirt on it, but... Wow, well, she's lovely. Okay, let's see if there's more. <laughs> well, I couldn't find anything else in the creek, but I did get these other six little bits sort of nearby, so that was an added bonus as well. Anyway. Okay, these little tiny bits, of course, won't be much. Oh, yeah, 0.2, that's all right. And, uh, yeah, half a gram. That little piece there, I won't even weigh that. It's just sort of in quartz. It's a little piece is probably like 0.1 of a gram of gold in it or something, so I won't even put that on. But um, we've got a bit of wind blowing. Try and get that cleared. Okay, so this fella here, oops. Yeah, like I said, it's got to be over 
10 grams. Well, definitely going to be over 10. But what does she come in at? Oh, look at that. 17.4. What a beautiful piece. It's just so clean. You seldom get one come out that clean unless it's sitting on the surface. A sun baker or um, a stargazer, as I call them. But anyway, that's, yeah, that's fantastic. I've got a little bit of a breeze blowing here, so she's sort of fluctuating a little bit, but that's all right. All right, we'll just chuck these other little bits on. Not that one. And up there. What have we got? Oh, yeah. Lovely, eh? What a great day. Just for curiosity, the next time I went to town, I decided to take that nugget into a jeweler's to see if I could get it tested for purity. This is an XRF machine. Basically, it x-rays the sample and can identify its composition. In other words, it can tell exactly what metals are contained within it, like copper, silver, zinc, etc., and what percentage there is of each one. It's an amazing device, making it now possible to get a fast and accurate readout on all manner of objects without doing any harm to them. So they're now widely used by most jewellers to test items for their gold and silver content. That nugget came back as 97.6% gold and 2.3% silver, which makes it over 23 carat. While I was there, I got these two smaller nuggets tested as well, with the one on the right being just over 5 grams and the other one just under. Amazingly, they both came back exactly the same, as 99.99% .99 pure, which is incredible for natural nuggets. What makes it even more impressive is that later on, I had all three nuggets retested at three other separate locations across Queensland, using the same XRF machines, and they all came back with exactly the same readings. So I have to say I'm very impressed with the consistency of those XRF machines. I've got a signal just up ahead here, which I'll take you to now. I just had to come back down the gully to get my phone. I left it in my bag down here behind me. Um, but I'm pretty confident it'll be gold because I've got a couple of other tiny little pieces nearby. And I've dug it down probably two or three inches and it's still in the hole. So it's looking promising. <laughs> in the last week, I've seen uh, three snakes. One of them I actually nearly stepped on. Well, I don't know if I did step on its tail or not. Hard to know. But it, um, it started coming towards me in a hurry. So I was backing up and I actually had to put the coil over the top of its head. Because I was a bit concerned it might strike or something. Got to be a bit careful. It was brown. So whether it was a, an actual brown snake or not, <laughs> I don't really know. But uh, treat everything as if it's venomous, I say. And uh, then I saw a big, very large brown snake just going through the grass very slowly ahead of me. Wasn't in any hurry, unfortunately. So uh, to take a bit of care because it's getting warmer now, so um, I'll probably be on the prowl a bit more. And yesterday, I thought it might be National Spider Day because I've never had so many spiders on me in one day. <laughs> At one stage, I, I felt something crawling under my shirt um, and... Normally it's just green ants, so I squash them against my skin, but this thing felt a bit bigger, and I thought, what the heck is that? And I uh, opened up my shirt, and here's this rather large spider. Somehow got under my shirt, under my skin, so that wasn't very pleasant. Ah, but anyway, um, let's get onto this hole, and let's hope it's yellow. Okay, we're just about at the location. I... Uh, Got a little speck out of the side just here on the bank. But as you can see, it's a bit of a tight spot. All the dry grass and everywhere. And yeah. Okay, so that's it right there. That's the hole. Now, as you can see, I've actually taken it down quite a bit from the bank. It's sort of a slope, but uh, from up here, it was very faint. It was just the slightest little... Just a hint of a sound when I first heard it, just a very hint, but didn't have to go far and you could pick it up quite nicely. Anyway, let's hope it's a nice little piece. Alright, managed to smash a fair bit of this stuff and it's, um, yeah, very slabby sort of stuff. 
here. As you can see, it's uh, just coming off in sheets. <laughs> okay, so it's just up here somewhere. Yep, just, just there. Alrighty, it's a bit awkward. I think I'm going to find space. Um, there. I can't see it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there it is. Oh, look at that. Now, I have to say, it is not as big as I was expecting. <laughs> I honestly thought it was going to be bigger than that. As I say, I shouldn't be disappointed, but the signal seemed to be so loud. Astonishing. And yet that... Uh, it's a nice piece, it's very worn by the look of it, nice and smooth, but it uh, looks to me like it's only two or three grams. Okay, there's a bit better shot of it, just a bit cleaner and stuff. But... Hmm. All right, yeah, like I say, it's amazing how, how deep I actually got that. Quite astonishing. Anyway, very good. Just got another nice little signal down here. Don't think it'll be very big, but it's a kind of a little wobbly sound. Okay, okay. Somewhere. Make sure I don't get that too close. Very awkward again, tight position. It's meant to be just somewhere here, I believe. Hmm, that doesn't look quite right. Let's see if I can get it. Yep, we got it. First go. Weird sort of sound. I don't expect it to be very big, so. There, yeah, you just see it there. <laughs> just see the bit of yellow right there. Right there, if you can see that. Not very, not very big, but there you go. There it is. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Funny sound. I'd better check and see if there's anything else still in there, but it's probably that. All right. right, so that's my final tally for the day. Just six pieces. Ended up there was another little piece in that last hole. Uh, that was the first one I got out of it, I think, and then then that little piece came out as well. <laughs> that one. Yep. With eight, that's all right. Not bad, is it? That little fellow there is quite a little chunky little thing. That'll be. Well, look at that. You wouldn't believe that, would you? It doesn't look very big, but it's just a solid chunk. That's good. That one then. Thing on one. Yeah, surprising. So that little fella there is actually heavier than that. Okay, so this one, I don't know what it's going to weigh, but it's got to be over two, surely. Hopefully it's about three. All right. What have we got? Yep. Just over three. So that's all good. Oh, that's not bad at all. <laughs> it's a bit better than I thought it was going to be. So I'm pretty happy with that. Lovely. Some pretty big country around here. High ridges and deep gullies. You have to be a bit careful climbing these steep slopes. The grass is so long and the rocks tend to be quite sharp and jagged. You can't see where your feet are going half the time. You don't want to end up tumbling down the hill. Ah, um, she's very smoky at the moment. There's a lot of um, fires going on around the place. Way in the distance there, there's a big area burning. But the wind unfortunately is coming this way, so the, <laughs> the smoke's coming all the way over here. Surprising how far it travels actually. Amazing. See it that well in the camera, but uh, it's all very smoky in the distance over there. Um, I often get people asking me why I don't film my target right from the surface, and of course, as I said, you know, I dig so much junk, I just waste a lot of time, and then I end up deleting the clips. Well, I'll just show you an example right here. I've just spent an hour digging this deep hole and all for nothing again. So that's what my location looks like. There's my detector on the ground there. And this is the 
hole right here. Now it's often hard to tell whether it's been dug out previously and filled in by the old timers or whether it's virgin ground. So this was in the side of the creek, sort of right in the bank, and I just wasn't sure whether it was virgin ground or not. The target just went deeper and deeper. It started out quite faint on the surface. And as you can see there, I've put my pick here. That's, that's my pick. It's a full length pick, you know. And it's probably a bit hard to see because it's so dark down there. But that's, um, there's the top of the hole up here. I mean, it slopes a little bit out down the side here. But uh, yeah, that's deep. <laughs> That's over a metre deep down there. Well, this could be a close-up anyway, of down in the hole. See, right at the bottom there is a piece of rusty tin. Goodness knows what it's off, but that's a long way down. It's amazing I even picked it up, to be honest. Yeah, that wastes a lot of time. Now, I wasn't actually intending to get my phone out and film anything today, because for the last few days, everything I've been digging has just been junk. And a few bits of gold... I have got it's all been very small in fact for the last couple of weeks it's just been little stuff a few grams here and there but nothing chunky um, however I did cave in at the last minute because I'm just digging a target over here it's in the side of a creek sort of and I've actually got down to the clay and it's still in there it sounds nice so I thought oh, I'll blow it but I was actually quite surprised that I got down to the clay. I expected it to come out a lot sooner, being a piece of rusty tin or something. But So I think it's right in the centre of that hole. That's a root, but hopefully we can get around that and try and chop it. It's amazing how soft that clay is. Oh, she's out. Just beside that thing here, all right, I'll just grab the scoop. That's a little awkward. Okay, we've got it. Nice, nice. All right, what I'm going to do, because it's awkward, I'll shift that out of the way. And... It should be big enough to see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. I can actually see it. Look, right there. You can see that there. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> look at it. Oh, marvellous. Marvellous. It is cold. Oh, that's made my day. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a beauty. Well, it's definitely over four grams anyway. Should be a bit more, hopefully. But Oh, yeah, that's a nicey. I'll just clean it up a little bit, see if I can get it a bit better. Okay, I've just come under a tree for a bit of shade, and I'm going to tip a little bit of my drink onto it and give it a little bit of a clean so you can get a better look at it. Good donkey. I'll just set it down there on the rock. So, let's see if I can. don't want to waste any of my drink, of course. But, uh, time. There we go. Put my lid back on. It's quite warm today. This is going to put a bit of a... Oh yeah, there's a lot of dirt on it, alright. <laughs> oh wow. Get a bit of that goose off there. I don't know if you can see that well enough or not, but it certainly looks a lot nicer. A lot of the yellow showing up better, that's for sure. Oh, it's a nice piece. Oh, yeah, very happy with that. Okay, so there's the total for the day. Only three pieces, but that big fella, that's a nice chunk. And got that fella there, which I think should be over two grams. And this little fella here, of course, that'll just be 0.2 or something like that. Oh, 0.3, there you go. That's all right. Now, this one should go two, at least two grams. Well, there you go, bang on three. Well, that's good, because that means that this big fella, that's going to definitely be over four. <laughs> I was hoping to go over four. Well, no question about that. I gave it a bit of a scrub with the toothbrush. It's come up nice. There you go. Eight. 
Huh, being on eight. Wow, that's marvellous. Oh, double what I thought. That's excellent. Alright, take these other bits on. Look at that. Ha, huh, fantastic. 11.4, more than I expected. Ha, huh, great day. I've got a couple of signals just up the hill over here, which I've already partly dug, but I'm so confident they're both gold that I thought I'll duck down the hill and get my phone out of my backpack and come up and film them. I've had already quite a few little bits of gold scattered around the slope, but there's also a lot of trash. The old timers look like they set up camp just in a little spot up here, and they've of course left all their <laughs> rusty tins and everything everywhere. So um, you sort of got to pick and choose which signals you dig because you certainly can't dig everything, it's so noisy. Anyway, I'm um, pretty certain both of these will be gold. One of them I actually got uh, two little bits out of the hole already and there's still a signal left in the hole, so <laughs> that's a good sign. That's what it all looks like up the slope up there. Another burnt area. Anyway, this is the hole I've got here, and like I say, I already got two pieces out of it, so um, <laughs> pretty confident there's going to be gold in there. The sun's quite high at the moment, so if you can hear that. signal. Alright, let's grab that scoop. Where do we say? Somewhere, somewhere just right on top of you, I think. Nope. Got the camera quite close, so <laughs> Oh, you're kidding me. You are kidding me. I thought that was going to be gold, and look at that. It's a freaking old Chinese coin. Ah, God, I can't believe I dug all that just for that. And it's a pretty rotten one, too, by the look of it. Oh, God. Well, that's a real bummer, isn't it? That is. Oh, I can't believe that. There were two pieces of gold above it. And then that, it's got a square hole in the middle, but, oh yeah, that's, that's disappointing. Oh well, never mind, there you go. The other day I found a couple of silver shillings, and this one is the oldest I've ever found. I also got a couple of threepences. Notice how there's quite a large variation between the dates. Well, I've got another signal just up the hill here, which... I'm pretty confident will be gold. Mind you, I was pretty confident with that last one as well. Surely this one has to be. But there you go, that's a prime example of why I don't just film every signal from the start um, before I start digging it because nearly everything is junk <laughs> around here anyway. So uh, you'd just be forever filming and digging for nothing. That's why I wait until I'm Pretty certain it's going to be a piece of gold. This one up here surely must be. Oh, well, let's have a look. So, hopefully, that's something anyway. It seems to be right in the centre there. Most of the time, I'll dig every target I get because even though you can become quite familiar with certain types of signals from various objects, you can still be proved wrong. There's been many times I've convinced myself that a target was junk, only to find a nice piece of gold. However, there are times when a particular spot is so full of trash that you either walk away or just pick the targets that seem the most likely. I don't see anything yet. Still in there. Mm -hmm. 
Don't see anything yet. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Strange, isn't it? Still there. Ah, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, beauty. <laughs> There's the sun. I don't know if you can see it. The sun there. That's it right there. Look at that. Funny shaped thing, long one. Oh, it's a beauty. Ah, oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> Had me worried a little bit there. But that's a nice one, actually. That's that'd make a good um, on a good necklace thing, wouldn't it? It's a nice long thing. Oh wow, what a beauty. Oh yeah, fantastic. Hoo hoo hoo. Ah, well, you wouldn't believe it. There's actually another signal in the hole, so that's a hard case. So there's another look at those pieces I just got out of that hole. Obviously that, that's the big one there. And then the extra signal, well that turned out to be two more signals. And those two pieces came out. <laughs> so that was great. Fantastic hole. <laughs> nice bits too. Hey, very smooth. Like they're water worn. Yeah, that'll make a nice dangle that one. A necklace or something. Alright, done pretty well today. Look at that for a nice display. 20 nuggets and some nice chunky ones as well. These are lovely looking pieces. That, um, that one there is the one I got out of that hole with three pieces in it. I think that was one of the smaller ones that came out as well. So, so that's good on its own. Nearly two grams. Can't remember what the other one was. Maybe it was one like that. That's 2.4. Yeah, these are good, these are nice chunky bits, eh? Hey? Yeah, better than a lot of those little ones I've been getting lately. Magnificent. So, that's one I thought was going to be a bullet. <laughs> and it's a nice 3.4 grammar. <laughs> oh yes, it's been a very interesting spot, that place. What's that one? Well, it's a goodie, 4.2. These are very sort of water-worn pieces. Quite nice gravel actually that they came out of. Look at that, 5.6. Oh, 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 what a beauty. And that one there that I said would make a nice nice necklace one. That's a good one, eh? Hey? What is that coming at? Look at that, 6.1. Beauty. And then a bit later, in a deeper hole, I got this chunk out. That's a nice one. Look at that. I can get that focus right. I can't. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Yeah, that's a beauty, that one. What is that way? Look at that, 10.4. Ha <laughs> ha, magnificent. All right. Let's put them all on and see what we've got here. <laughs> it's looking good, isn't it? It's looking very good. Look at that. Ha 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 ha, how's that? 43.4 grams, that's magnificent. To see more great gold finds, make sure you check out episodes 2, 3 and 4. If they haven't been uploaded by the time you watch this, don't worry, they'll be out shortly. And there's some really nice gold.